welcome back guys and now we're going to be doing the fun part Woo, we're going to be animating yeah so then what we need to do is open our main JS file and I think to start with we will we will make a timeline um, so we need to set uh, a new timeline max so let's make a variable and I'm going to call this one animate in and we're going to say equals new timeline max and that will give us a start uh, and then we are going to uh, start on the timeline so let's call that animate in and then we are going to say from to we're going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by animating this overlay so that is the bit that was on top uh, that's um, obscuring the image we're going to move that out now so we're going to go from to and we want to grab our overlay overlay uh, and then we're going to say two seconds sorry two and um, what we want to do is open our curlies and we're going to say skew uh, x and what have I done wrong here so I need to put a comma here sorry skew x 30 so it's coming from a skew x of 30 okay and then we're going to get say two and this is where we're going to say a I need to put our curlies so and then we're going to say skew x zero because we want to say from a skew of 30 to a skew x of zero okay and then we're going to need to give it an x percentage so x percent and then we're going to say 100 because we want it to go to 100 okay um, and maybe we can see what's going on now if we have a look uh, let's move this up there so you can see we've got the start of our animation let's refresh and you can see it's not looking quite right yet we so can you see the box skewing out and moving there see so this is uncovering that so we need to make it a bit bigger so it covers it so if we give it a scale of 1.5 on the two that should make it a bit bigger so let's have a look there that's made it bigger that's cool um, and I think is that everything X percent let's go into there not quite looking right yet is it we've got a skew we've got X percent 100 let's let's transform the origin uh, so transform origin uh, and say zero uh, percent and we want to go to um, from the hundred percent and we can give it some easing too so let's give it some ease um, and this will make it look nice as it's coming out so we can say power four let's give it some big easing and then ease out okay um, and I think that should be good now let's see what happens when we come back in here so um, we can see where our transform origin has moved it um, away there we go like that okay so that's coming across perfect that's kind of, we've got two of the same things here okay cool and like I said earlier in the first episode of this tutorial series it might look flickery to you because of my um, screencasting software it just slows down the frame rate a lot but I can promise you this is very smooth okay so um, what are we doing next let's um, let's let's we do oh we need to animate our um, we need to animate this 
so what we can do is we can go um, from and then what have we what's that, what have we called it we've called it project info so let's grab project info info grab project info and um, what do we need to do how many seconds should we make this what um, one second maybe it needs to be a bit quicker I think one second and then what we can do is open our curlies and then we can scale it on the Y axis so it's moving up and then zero because it's, it's from zero and then we can transform origin and this is probably a better way for you to see it we're gonna say from the bottom rather than um, what have I done here scale zero no, that's that's okay I just need to put in our quotations don't I so you'll see now hopefully if we come back in here and we give it a refresh and then we should get there there we go transform origin so that's coming from the center so do we need to go um, bottom left let's have a look there we go so that's coming in now from the bottom so that's where it's transforming from okay that's looking good um, so uh, next let's just animate our uh, little thingies in here so this this let's let's bring that in nicely so what do we call that we called that small title didn't we so let's go from and then we'll grab the small title small title 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 and um, what should we say one sec let's try one second again um, no actually this is going to be really quick isn't it so we want to bring the time right down for this and bring this in a lot quicker I think we don't want that to be slowly fading in and then we're going to go auto alpha zero and that will bring it in from an opacity of zero back to the normal state here to an opacity of one uh, and it will fade in as well so uh, then um, that's okay I think for now um, we could move it up a little bit so we can go y30 which will push it down from a y the y-axis of 30 and then it will bring it back to normal okay um, so let's see what we've got here let's go back and you could see there on the side something happening let's refresh it and then that's coming up and then there we go that comes up now you will see that everything is coming in at the wrong time so we need to we need to move our animations back in the timeline slightly now let's start by moving our project info back so to do this we can go comma and then we can go minus equals and then say I don't know 1.5 seconds let's try that and then we come back in here and then hopefully this box will come in a bit there we go that's perfect that's coming in earlier and now you can see that this comes in too late our, our small title so we can bring that in a bit earlier again and go comma minus equals and then what well, 1.5 again let's see what happens if we do that so we're going like that and it's a little bit too early because we don't want it to come in at the same time there's no point and uh, what should we say 1.8 then maybe there we go 1.5 1.4 so it comes in a little bit after no what is happening let's say 0 0.5 then see what happens so that comes in and that comes in after okay so maybe we can make it a bit more Okay, I think that's okay for now. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, um, should we give it some easing? So we can say ease and then power f four again. Um, and then we want to ease it out. So ease out. Okay, and that should make it ease out a bit better. There we go. Um, okay, that's our small title done. Um, let's push this up. Sorry, I've got a bad habit of that. Um, and our button let's do our button next so uh, 
we can go dot from again and then we're going to grab our project link so we can go dot project link and uh, what do we do what should we say 0 0.2 seconds again we can let's make this a little bit more 0 0.3 0 0.3 seconds again and then we open our curlies and let's I guess we can just copy this so let's put that in here like that and then hopefully we can see it coming in but again we need to make it come in a little bit earlier so let's go comma and minus equals what one point one point no zero point eight I guess same as the last same as the last one let's see what happens there we go so that's coming in um, I'm gonna just move them in a little bit earlier no we need to do our title as well don't we so let's copy this line paste that underneath and then change this to uh, h4 wasn't it I said so we can just grab our h4 here and then that should bring it in there we go okay so I think that's okay for now um, you guys can fiddle around with the sort of the the timing and everything like that um, this is just rough okay um, so next step is to get the animation to trigger when we want it to um, so what we need to do for this is um, let's make it let's go up here um, should we do it up here we might as well var and then let's go controller because we need to we need to bring in scroll magic now so we're going to say new scroll magic um, dot controller okay um, so that will initialize it, that for us and then um, then we need to make a um, a scroll magic scene so let's go down here and make a scroll magic scene okay so, so like that. Um, and we need to set a variable so var and let's what should we say this let's just call it scene for now um, and then equals new um, scroll magic dot scene and then we go like that uh, and we want to say that we want to trigger it um, when we hit a certain point so on our scroll we're scrolling down scrolling down and we need to grab an element on here and say when this scroll hits that element do your magic so to do that we go trigger element and then we call what should we which we use as our trigger um, normally you could have a class I guess that says trigger but we I, I guess we can just trigger it on on project so let's say project um, and I think that should work now hopefully let me just check far scene trigger element project yeah cool okay so let's come back in here and then let's see uh, no it's not not working properly we are not something not quite right let's see uh, that's okay um well scene equals oh i know i forgot to um add to controller haven't i so we're going to come down here and then we're going to go add to we i forgot to do this add to controller and then hopefully because we need to add this to the controller and then hopefully um, that will work and I tell you what we also need to do is we need to tell it to we need to tell it to when it hits a certain point trigger the animation which I haven't done yet so we can go dot set the tween set teen we don't want to set any teens set tween and then we're going to say I'm going to grab our animate in so when we hit 
the project, the trigger element here, when we scroll down here, it's going to set the tween and then animate in and, 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 and play this. Okay, well, that's what we hope. So let's go back and then there we go. We haven't played. Let's just move this up and then we scroll, 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 scroll. And there we go. And then we, because, right, what we're going to do is because we need to uh, make a loop so that um, these uh, function at different times. So they scroll it, animate at different times. But we can see that's all working now, which is great on our scroll. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we can do now. Um, no, let's look at um, making a loop in the next um, in the next tutorial. So. Thanks very much for watching guys, take it easy and I'll see you soon, bye!